Hi guys, thanks again for taking the time to watch our uh, video blog today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about disputing taxes. So in Utah, July is known for a lot of traveling because we've got fireworks, we've got freedom, and we've got our statehood. But July is also the uncanny month of the tax assessor delivery notice of your property value to you. So that being said, I'm not quite sure how the county comes up with their fuzzy logic approach to tax values, but I do know one thing uh, to be true, and that is they're not always on the mark. That's what we're here for. So, number one, the assessment notice is comprised of um, your, your prop proposed tax assessment for 2016 and then the change in value from 2015 to 2016. At the Stern team, we've been helping our clients for years literally dispute these tax valuations as they're coming in, in the event that they feel, that you feel, for instance, they're coming in a little bit too high. So, if you feel like your tax assessment is coming in high, uh, this would be for your 2016 taxes, then I want you to send us a notice or, or uh, the front part of the notice. We can look at the value and then we can do uh, something to help you out. And that is we can provide you three to five comparable sales like your property that may show a lower value than what the tax assessment uh, value is coming in. If we can't help you, we'll let you know that because sometimes the tax assessed value actually comes in low, which is a gift, but not all the time. So every year we're helping our people dispute this. In fact, I wish I knew how much money cumulatively we've saved all of our clients over the years of doing this. So number one, if you have a high assessment value, realize our market is going up. So I expect it's gonna be higher than it was the year before. But if you feel like it's overinflated, that's when I want you to send us a copy of that. We'll send out three to five comparable um, comps to help you dispute that. You can then fill out the uh, appeals form, which will be attached uh, attached to this blog and send in the appeals form by September 15th along with the comparable sales that we give over to you. If you've purchased your property in the last year and that purchase price was less than the assessed value, you can simply fill out the appeal form and send in a copy of the HUD settlement statement that you signed at the title company um, and that will work. Also, if you've had an appraisal done um, in 2016 or even in early 2017 that came in lower than the tax assessed value, you can actually send in a copy of that appraisal with the appeals form. So remember, September 15th is a drop dead deadline. You get these notices, feel like they come in high, let us know, we're here to help you. It's a free service that we provide all of our past and current clients and those who've sent out referrals to us. And then once that's in by August 1st, you should know where you stand. Sometimes they're gonna to wanna to do a formal review. Sometimes they're gonna say, here's what we propose instead. If you're okay with it, you check the list and you're good. Um, but ultimately they'll make a final decision and hopefully it's one that will benefit you guys. Thanks again, hopefully this will help. Let us know, we're here for you. Email, call us, thank you so much.